the mooring dolphins. This place is supposed to have really good pie. We're at Mamma Mia Pizza. You can stick them to the side of your RV. What's wrong, Steve? Laney seems to be just fine. Oh, yeah. Tired, but wow, what a view. It is free parking. You're a lonely sailor. Oh, no, blue free bone fries. I'm strolling down the street. And you come over here to where it says Island Information. Near the public school. That's pretty an eight and a half. So it saves you a little money if you want to do that, too. Michigan apple salad. Something. Sorry. Comes from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Is it worth paying the money for a horse carriage ride? Never in a million years. Just uh, five and breakfast. Are you kidding me? This is it. Those are some beautiful places, weren't they? Yeah. What is but wrong with this picture? One more day. Why not? Why not? But now we're feeling like, why did we do that? Like a newer boardwalk. Yeah. Newer but old. Yeah. The sun starts to go down and you're <laughs> still a little hungry. Just take a walk and open your mouth and you'll get a nice treat of mosquitoes. The four cylinders out there are mm -hmm. called mooring dolphins. Mm -hmm. And they're man-made marine structures that extend above the water level that's not connected to the shore. And these here were built in 1957 for the Great Lakes tanker ships carrying jet fuel to have something to connect to as they offload. An Airstream! This place is supposed to have really good pie. Pie girls shall see, right? For apple pie. Which is not one of my top favorites, but it's still really good. Yeah. One area that a lot of people may not think of is an area called Bridgeview Park. And it gives you a really neat view of the Mackinac Straits and the Mackinac Bridge. do we do on a rainy day? Go to the casino and get in the hot tub. Hi. You guys take credit cards too? Okay. Quick trip down to uh, Mackinac City. Sometimes I think we spend more time in, in uh, t-shirt shop. Mamma Mia's Pizza. We're at Mamma Mia Pizza in Mackinac City. Looks good for a cauliflower crust. Verdict's fudge. Oh, uh, you're kind of killing this keto thing. Yeah. We're leaving Kiwadden Casino and going to head to our next campground here in the area uh, before we go over to Mackinac Island. I think I got everything disconnected. Michelle's getting everything inside. We kind of let each other do those two parts and uh, that way there's no distractions. We found that if we don't, one of us forgets something. Michelle went and walked the trash up to the dumpster and I'm going to pull into the uh, dump station here and flush our tanks. We only got five and a half miles to drive to go to this next campground. So it'll be a short drive. Be gentle, doctor. Oh, brother. I had a couple things to do. Michelle was inside cleaning and she had to run up and get some cash for us while I was finishing hooking up. Uh, if you pay cash, you get five dollars a day off extra. That adds up. Like yeah, it does. Stay in six days, so definitely pays for uh, pays for a ride, pays for dinner. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'll be back with some food. Thanks. Food. 
chips pass the test. Yes, very good. Castle Rock. Any Steps. idea who these people are following? <laughs> These guys have been pumped. <laughs> we were begged to come. Here, we're at the top. Oh, Steve, Lainey seems to be just fine. Oh, yeah. She's loving this. <laughs> I'm sure. 170 some steps. Hey, it's nothing. Whew. How you doing? I'm okay. Tired, but mm. wow, what a view. Yeah. So can you tell us how you how'd you like it, Lainey? Did you like the hike? Huh? Look at the camera. Say hi. Can, can you say, wave? Can you say hi to everybody? This campground is pretty neat. Especially if you get to one of these sites like we have and our friend Steve and Jen. Oh nice picture of their uh, tank there. And you get the uh, nice view. Came out to the truck to uh, clean up here a little bit and I just remembered something. Uh, I was contacted by a company recently, Hakina, other than your uh, normal flares that you get. I thought they'd be a good thing to have. It comes in a little pack like this. Uh, we got the pack of five and there's these little LED flares. Has a little stand here also that you can, you can set them up, set them like this, lay them on the ground. You can stick them to the side of your RV. They are magnetic, I believe, here too. And it'll do different things. It'll do an SOS and uh, all sorts of different things here. A little flashlight even. And they have them in a three pack or a five pack like this. Comes in a little kit. Gives you a few other little things that you can use as well. I went ahead and put it on our website, on our Amazon store. So if you go to livingourvision.com and click on Amazon store up above. Then go to our RV living page there. Click that and you'll see them in there. I think it's good to have. Doesn't take up much space. If you go hiking, just stick one of these little discs in your backpack or a couple of them if you want to. If you got lost, help somebody uh, locate you. Where are we going, Michelle? Mackinac Island. Bucket list. Woohoo! Come join us. You're a lonely sailor, and your soul is made of wind and rain. So at Shepler's here in uh, St. Ignace, they give you a pass and it is free parking. You have to be out by 11.59 p.m., so right before midnight, or you get an overnight charge. But it is free parking. I see you're feeling a little shady too. <laughs> I'm my worst enemy. Still got a Holy cow, there's a line to get on. So, just so you know, we did the three-day pass, which for two people was $110. And then we opted to wait and get a bicycle pass if we decide to bring a bicycle, which is $13 per person if you're bringing your own bike. And you can bring an e-bike on the island if you leave the battery out of it. You have to have the battery out. I did call the police station twice, just to confirm. Looks like we're not gonna make this boat. No, but it's only 15 more minutes. I got an idea. What? Let's go under the chain and say, and yell, Mom, Dad, wait up! And we can get through. Should work. So I said, hey, don't you wanna come? So we're sitting down below because somebody didn't want to get their hair all messed up. Me. Just FYI, can you pull that stuff out? We gotta warn these guys about this stuff. So we brought some sunscreen. Just, uh, I hate to use it, but sometimes you have to. Do you ever see this stuff? Don't buy it. Why? It is like paste that you cannot get off. But we. I was rubbing. She goes, oh, you've got to rub more. I kept rubbing, trying to get it off. She goes, she looked at me with this serious face. you got to get that off. You look like a flipping clown. It was bad. This is going to be more of a 20-minute trip today. As we are going out underneath the Maginot Bridge, going to take a few quick backs and give me a couple of photo opportunities and then have you arrive. You're a lonely sailor. 
your soul is made of wind and rain, doubts and blame. I'm a weary pirate, and my heart is made of dust and grain and spoiled champagne. I've got troubles, I've got sins, I'm my worst enemy. But I still got a lot to give. So I said, hey, don't you want to come? We were hurrying a little bit this morning, so we decided to wait and eat here. Michelle hasn't had her coffee or anything yet. Oh my god. And uh, what is the name of this place? It's uh, Sea Biscuit Cafe. Yeah. Sea Biscuit Cafe. Kind of a neat little place. I got a burger with gluten-free bone fries and lamb chowder. With their locally uh, caught white fish. I'm going to rate my sandwich about a solid seven and a half. I pretty great good Thank chowder you. that is well. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. And then where do we have a stop next? Got to stop at Meredith's Fudge. The vibe this place gives you is really, really cool. Yeah. And you have to think about how clean the air must be here with no vehicles. Well, aside from the horsemen or smell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that could be toxic. I know somebody's manure is. Just saying. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way. Uh, and I won't stop. I won't slow. Down. If you need a map, uh, if you come to where this carriage tours place is at, and you come over here to where it says island information, you don't have to go up there. They actually have them right in here where we got this one it's a good shows you the map that's upside down might be better this year. i am on my way uh, i won't slow down i am on my way uh, i won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite results on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. <laughs> yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Somewhere in Time in 1980 with Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour. This is their gazebo. That's on the railing, straight ahead. Hmm. This is the same gazebo they used in the movie 
but it's not the location. At that time it was near the public school, but in 2006 they relocated it here so that the public could have access to it. darn 1.15 million it's already sold Kind of sewer. This drink is called a Lost on Mackinac. So a Skull Cave Whiskey. Again, that's Skull Cave Whiskey. Rucaraco Sour with a splash of lemonade. That's good. Kind of a refreshing drink. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have cherry? You want my cherry? That's probably, that's probably an eight and a half. Really? That's a pretty good rating. Still doesn't beat the one at that restaurant in the key, so. Day two of... Mackinac Island. And here we go, day two. All right, so we got our tickets to the carriage. When you come here, you're gonna see this really long line here. But uh, there are, keep, just so you know, there's a line coming down here, and then there's a line on the other side of the building too, which is shorter, because a lot of people don't know about that, and they think this is the only line, which is why it's so long. They have two options. They have, was it $38 for the 34. traditional? 34. Thirty-four dollars for yeah. the traditional carriage ride, and then forty-two for the uh, combination. Combination, which gets you into the Butterfly Conservatory, which is basically an eight-dollar increase. Which I believe the tickets normally are like an extra thirteen dollars to go to that Butterfly Conservatory. Yeah. So it saves you a little money if you want to do that too. So we have a twelve fifty-five time. It's a little over an hour that we have. We're going to go grab something to eat, and we come back here and sit. 10 minutes before our time at 12.55. And then you can get off at these other places, walk around, and then the carriages keep coming by every so often and you get back on, kind of like a hop on, hop off bus. Except it's a carriage. <laughs> time to hop on down the road oh and get something God, to eat. So hungry. Having another burger with a gluten-free bun and Michelle's having a salad. What was the name of your salad? Uh, Michigan apple salad, something. Mine is a classic burger. So the burger wasn't a six and it wasn't a seven. So six and a half out of 10. It wasn't, man, yeah, it was okay. My so, salad was about the same. It was the light same. and refreshing, but it just wasn't anything all that special. Yeah. I did take one bite of her salad. I'd have to agree. There's better places. Unless you want drinks, because I believe they are known for their fun cocktails. Hmm. Should we go back and try? <laughs> so now we are just sitting here waiting on our time. It's coming up really shortly here. Well, I wasn't sure if that horse took the dump if I wanted to sit there. <laughs> but, 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 oh, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. 
network. That is the only post office that has never delivered a single piece of mail. <laughs> your brain is no sleet or hail. You must come pick up your own mail here. <laughs> and they do have numbers on their houses, but those are for emergency purposes only. Now this here is the Grand Hotel. It was opened July 10th, 1887. And it was built by two railroad companies in a steamboat ship to promote travel to the island. The porch that's out front there is the largest covered porch in the world at 650 feet from end to end. And this hotel only took 93 days to build. Wow. However, it was supposed to be done in 90 days. And the people there were promised a bonus if they could get it done in 90 days. Wow. But when the workers found out that it was their managers being paid that money and not them, their tools went mysteriously missing for three days. <laughs> Not mommy. <laughs> I feel a lot better than I look. Got these guys three years ago. I was their first driver. Fell in love with them. Whenever I'm giving tours, I'll start my day with these guys. Clovis and Rupert both come from Ship Shawana, Indiana. They're raised by the Amish. And Jumbo, he comes from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. The UP. Yeah, he's a Uper horse. You can tell by his accent. <laughs> he doesn't say nay, he says eh. <laughs> Let him a pasty for breakfast. Is this anyone's first time here? This is the flag for the unknown soldier, one of five in the world. The flags allowed to stay at half staff year round for the unknown soldier. Out of the 111 pots there, 70 of those clocks are unknown, they just say soldier. Here by the light there. It's 1763. Now, Britain had just won the French Indian War. They now control Fort Mackinac. For the Grand Hotel, though, just stay aboard. Your options are coming up momentarily. Very right. good tour. He was. Jared. He, Jared was very entertaining. So he works from May to October here. And then he travels in his schoolie bus. <laughs> if you're on a bicycle, if you go over 25, you can get a ticket. I think she was doing 35 there for a second. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Is it worth paying the money for a horse carriage ride? We think so. Yes, I think so, yeah. Yeah. So First, we, we started at 1 o'clock, mm -hmm. and it was it's now almost 3.30, so two and a half hours. And so it stops at a, uh, a few places, and then you get back on. We weren't sure if, we'd have an, if it was going to be worth paying that kind of money when it was already 1 o'clock, basically, 12.55, when ours started. But yeah, I think it was worth it. Hi. All right, thank you. Thank you.
but did you ever imagine you were ever going to be here after watching the movie? No, I never would have imagined maybe sitting in a rocking chair on this porch overlooking the, the lake. Mm. Never in a million years. It's a beautiful view from up here. Right. You can see the lighthouse. You can see the Big Mac, Mackinac Bridge. We've got Lake Huron. A little cloudy. Looks a little eerie. Whenever it's clear, it's much more superior. How short these ceilings are. <laughs> Even Michelle can touch it, right? Yes. Yes, she can. Look at this. Two dollars for a meal. Champagne. No more. Sixty cents. Day three in Mackinac Island. Good morning. Good morning. We were debating whether to take our bikes or not. That's why we waited. And we went two days before just to see if we really needed them or want them or if we thought they would be a pain to bring. And we decided not to. They still charge you $13 per person to bring your bikes. So we were thinking about maybe renting them for a couple hours because the outer perimeter trail, kind of a road, even though there's no vehicles here. It's closed for a big portion of it. So, and that was kind of what we wanted to do. So we might do it for a couple hours and go the part of the portion. Yeah. But first, Michelle wants pancakes on Mackinac Island. We got a skillet here, classic skillet. Blueberry pancakes for Michelle to go with her other blueberry pancakes because I don't want toast. What'd you have? Just a five for breakfast? If you don't know, those are hash browns, eggs, and bacon. <laughs> What'd you do? So everything from here to here with these blue axes is closed. So you can't take a tandem bike through the interior. It's only this exterior only. You can't go all the way around because it's all closed there. A good route would be come down through this neighborhood, West Bluff. It said it was really beautiful. Then we're gonna come up through here, past the Mackinac Airport. And uh, we're gonna probably come over here. We might come through this area. We're not sure yet. But then we're gonna take the perimeter on the way back. Should be two, two and a half hours. Let's roll.
Watch out for the poofic day, isn't it? It's beautiful. Poofic. stop down here at this restaurant called The Woods. Uh, has the wooden bowling alley, a one lane bowling alley. Yeah, just had to take a look at that and see it for ourselves. Did you see that big pile of Shih Tzu? You like Shih Tzu dogs? 315 flight leaves in 15 minutes on aisle 1A. about 50 yards from where you park your bikes to the crack in the island. Cave of the Woods, go in there, honey. Are you kidding me? This is it. in the island. Looks like a good pit stop. I know somebody would want to stop here. Wow, look at all the bikes. <laughs> There's some beautiful places, aren't they? We got the classic whitefish with asparagus and some kind of beans. <laughs> and a battered bourbon whitefish called fish what, and chips. What is but... wrong with this picture? Look at the size of this and then look at that. The fish at Winchester's, both of them, 
a solid nine. The asparagus was really good, per perfectly cooked, seasoned, yeah. perfect. The, uh, we can't say perfect is a nine because then it'd be a 10 and we don't give anything a 10. So <laughs> it was really good. Um, the little beans they had, it went well with the uh, classic whitefish and uh, it's, if, so it, it's pricey. Yeah. Each of our dishes were 20 bucks a piece. A little pricey. We decided one more day. Why not? Why not? We're so close. But today we're going to relax and enjoy ourselves. No backpack, no camera gear, just the iPhone. Well, I'm not a woman, I don't have a purpose. Enough to find a sunset, a flavor of a memory. Whenever all the stars above a shine, how many steps is this? Then I know I'll never be alone. Fudge. This place, time to call it a day. Yes. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.